Hi everyone, welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some new research that does confirm everything that we've been saying about pesticides and metals and even sweeteners for a long time. So um, many people have been uh, aware of concerns about artificial sweeteners, heavy metals, of course, and also pesticides that may be contributing to your gut issues. Um, if this is something you ever ask your doctor, though, they'll probably say there isn't any research to support any of that. And also, furthermore, if you have a diagnosed inflammatory bowel disease, you've likely been told um, by your doctors that it is autoimmune and that we don't know the cause or it's called an idiopathic illness, that the cause of it is actually unknown. But what we're learning is that may not be true. And the reason is there are a lot of uh, chemicals in our environment toxins that we're exposed to that our body should be able to eliminate, but it turns out that it might be actually just changing the microbiome so much that it is affecting and creating diseases. So I have this paper and I'm actually going to go through the highlights with you. Um, I'll link it in the notes below so you can read it for yourself. But I think it's really important to look at this because so many people disregard those claims as woo woo or um, you know something only the holistic weirdos claim. But this is this has been something we've talked about for a long, long time. I remember teaching about this in classes many years ago and um, now it's showing up in the research. So I think it's really important that you know about it so that um, maybe you educate your doctor on it. But anyway, this was a study published or an article published in 2020 uh, edition of the journal called Toxins. And basically what it says is that xenobiotics and what they're referring to in this study are antibiotics and some other medications I'll mention here in a moment, um, heavy metals, specifically arsenic, and pesticides that uh, are used in tons of different foods and also artificial sweeteners. Those are the xenobiotics they are referring to in this paper. And we're exposed to all of them um, almost daily. So for a lot of people, um, they need to know that these things can alter the microbiome. So what they're referring to here is gut toxicity, meaning that um, it becomes toxic to your gut because it will damage the microbiome. So it actually changes the diversity of your microbiome and limits the number of good bacteria you have in your gut. So that's a very bad thing. Um, and so that in itself can uh, result in what they're uh, showing here are some elevated risk for other diseases, such as inflammatory bowel disease, which is the very first thing they list, uh, but also obesity, diabetes, colon cancer, liver disease, um, and even neurological disorders. So we already know that many of these problems come from a damaged gut, but now we're learning this confirmation that that damage is done by specific things, not some mystery or unknown things. We know actually a lot of the things that create that. So I think it's really important that we are just aware of this and make yourself aware of this, um, that you know, I've always believed this, but I think most people don't until they see research to support it. So finally we have that. Um, so they're calling these uh, environmental factors that lead to the uh, alterations in the gut microbiome and ultimately in your overall health. Um, they also say that functional damage may include changes in bacterial metabolites, loss of bacterial diversity, and effects on energy metabolism and balance, which of course we know will um, affect obesity and diabetes. Um, and the again, xenobiotics they're referring to are antibiotics, heavy metals, pesticides, and artificial sweeteners. Um, so I want to touch on really quick the antibiotic part. So this is something people think that if they go on many, many antibiotics or a long-term antibiotics, like you know they have uh, IV antibiotics for a couple days after a surgery or um, injury, something like that. This study says no, actually it can be short-term and long-term use of antibiotics, um, which lead to microbiome toxicity because uh, you, it changes the diversity in the gut. So we already know that. And also there's some other drugs that they mention here specifically um, that do affect the microbiome in a similar way. One of them is metformin, one of the most common drugs used for diabetes. 
um, and also uh, proton pump inhibitors. So many people take PPIs for um, problems with digestion, which probably could be fixed by changing the diet, and then also uh, antipsychotics. So a lot of times we're using antipsychotic drugs because there's a problem in the gut. So there's a lot of research actually to, to support that idea too, that if we actually just fix the gut, we can change a lot of neurological functions and mental health disorders. Um, the second point was heavy metals, and in this, um, they're really specifically calling out the arsenic. Um, arsenic can be mostly exposed to drinking water, but it is available. It is also in other foods, so that's something just to be aware of. And again, it does the same thing. It disrupts the microbiome, disturbs the balance, and then also reduces the number of strains. And this was one that they actually found um, through rat studies. Uh, pa uh, the pesticides. The pesticide, pesticide issue is um, something that what they call the shikimate pathway, which is um, what the herbicide glyphosate is used to target in animals, um, in bugs and things like that. that. That's how they kill them and kill them off before they can harm the plants. Um, but what they used to believe was that it didn't affect humans. And what they're saying now is that it actually does um, because that shikimate pathway is present in the human gut bacteria. So therefore it is killing off um, and disrupting the gut microbiome. We already know that, we, that should be a no brainer for you that um, not buying any foods with pesticides and that's actually really hard to do. So you kind of have to know your farmer or grow them yourself. Um, and then the last one I want to mention is the big one because I know it's very, very common and this might surprise you because I was kind of shocked by this too, but artificial sweeteners, um, the ones that we always go to would be like acylophane, potassium, sucralose, aspartame, neotame. These are the ones that we would consider to be unhealthy. Most people are aware of this, but it also shows that stevia and xylitol also did affect the microbiome. So got to be careful with the artificial sweeteners and uh, just be aware, obviously, that these are some things that we can do, and my intention with this is that you have a level of awareness that helps you to make better decisions about your food, and don't believe that um, you, know, you have no control over uh, gut health or any of these other diseases that I mentioned today because they are within your control. So I'd love to hear what you're doing, how have you used this information, or are you seeing these showing up in your gut health? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you're doing and what you're experiencing. And I will see you in the next video.